Brussels, even as Iran talks about its ability to shut the Strait of Hormuz. We're live at the CME with Scott Hikas, Chief Market Strategist at Walsh Trading in Futures in Focus. Scott, why is oil on the decline? It would seem that just geopolitical pressures alone would have it rising. Yeah, you would think so. I mean, as far as headline risk goes, there's a lot of bulls tilt, a lot of uncertainty go between Iran and the Strait of Hormuz with disruptions in that aspect. Continuation today, just based on just a weakening and softening U.S. demand. You know, we have a 10-week low in. Uh, we have a 10-week low in U.S. exports that's also confirmed by Japan hasn't imported any U.S. oil in the first time in a month in over a year. That just confirms that U.S. demand for oil is weakening slightly, and that's why you're seeing continuation to the downside today. So what levels are you at the CME talking about? We're at 55.50 now for a barrel of WTI. How low could we go? Yeah, well, we got to wait and see. That 55 level, uh, based on the option flow, the option flow volatility is slightly skewed to the puts, to the downside, rather than to the upside calls. You're still seeing open interest build on the 60 line as well as the 55 line. But if we break that 55 line, you know, with those open interest building on a, on a September 55 puts, you're going to see a big spike lower, increased volume with heavy downside pressure. Scott, thank you for your time today. Much appreciated. Scott Geekers of Walsh Trading coming to us from the CME.